Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use arrays in Java. Now, an array is a special structure inside of Java where we can store information. So we can store data inside of an array. And it's pretty similar to a variable. So if you're familiar with variables in Java, you know that a variable can store a single value. So I could create a variable and I could store like a number or a string or a Boolean value inside of that variable. But one of the limitations of just creating a regular variable is that you can only store one value. In a lot of situations when we're programming, we're going to want to store large amounts of data. So instead of just storing one piece of information, we're going to st want to store a bunch of pieces of information, like a bunch of values. And we can basically use an array to do something like that. So I'm going to show you guys how to create an array and it's all going to be really clear. So the way we can create as an array is pretty similar to the way that we create a variable. The first thing I want to do is specify the type of data that I'm going to put inside of this array. So I can just say string. And now since I'm creating an array, I want to make these open and closed square brackets. And this basically tells Java that we want to create an array. We don't want to create a variable. Remember, an array can store multiple values a variable can only store one value. So we're going to create our array and then we're just going to give it a name. So I'm just going to call this friends. So maybe this will be like an array that stores a list of all of our friends and we can set this equal to something. So I can say string box friends is equal to, and now I can make these open and closed curly brackets. And inside of here, I can just start typing out the values that I want to put inside of this array. So we could start typing out the name of some of our friends. So I could say like Jim. So this is going to be one entry in the array. When I want to add another one, I just put a comma and now I can put the next one. So we could say like Karen and Kevin. So right here, I'm creating an array and I'm storing three strings inside of it. I'm storing Jim. This is the first element in the array. Karen is the second element in the array and Kevin is the third element in the array. So we basically have a variable, except we're storing a bunch of different values. So inside of this one friends array, we can have three different values. And really you can put as many values inside of an array as you want. That's what they're for. They're meant to hold large amounts of information. So the question becomes now that we've stored this data, how can we access it? In other words, let's say I want to access one of these individual values inside of my array. Well, I'm going to come down here into this print line statement and I'll show you how we can access one of these values. If I just type out friends like this and I try to print it out to the screen, you'll notice over here that we get this like crazy string. Basically, this is just saying that we have an array of strings that doesn't really help us. I want to access the individual elements so I can use a special syntax. I can make an open and closed square brackets after the name of the array. So again, I'm typing out the name of the array and then open and close square brackets inside of these square brackets. I can just say the index of the element that I want to access in the array. So if I want to access the first element in the array, this string with Jim inside of it, I can put a zero here. Now, the way that arrays index the content is they start counting at zero. So we would say that this Jim string is actually at index position zero. So this would be at position zero. This Karen string would be at position one and this Kevin string would be at position two. So if I want to access this string inside of this array, I have to put a zero in here because the array starts indexing at zero, not one. So if I type friend zero there, this should print out that first element in our array. You can see that it does. If I type a one in here, now we'll print out Karen. And if I type a two in here, we'll print out Kevin. So you can access individual attributes inside of this array by referring to their index inside of the array. And that can be really helpful. Another thing we, that we can do is we can actually grab some information about this array. So I can actually access an attribute about this array called length. So I can say friends dot length. And if I just type this, this is actually going to tell me how many entries are inside of this array. So you can see over here, it says three because there's three elements inside of the array. So in a lot of situations, you're going to want to be able to figure out how many elements are inside of your array and you can do something like this. 
Another thing we can do with arrays is modify one of these values. So let's say that I wanted to modify this first value. Instead of having it equal to Jim, we could change the name. All I have to do is come down here and I can just say friends. And again, I wanna access the specific element inside of this array. So I can say friends zero, since I'm trying to access this element and I can just set it equal to something. So I can basically use this as I would a normal variable. I can give it another value. So I could say Mike inside of here. And now if I was to print out friends zero, then I should just get Mike instead of Jim. So I've actually changed or updated the value inside of this array and that can be really useful. So now you know how to create an array, you know how to modify elements inside of array and you know how to access individual elements inside of the array. And over here, what I did, you know, the way that I declared the array over here is just one way that you can do it. Let's say there's a situation where you don't know what elements you wanna put in the array right off the bat. So for example, over here, I'm giving this array all the elements like right up front. You know, I know exactly what I want to go in there, so I just put them in there and we're good to go. But in a lot of cases when you're programming, you're not gonna know what you wanna put in the array right away. And so what we can do is we can actually create this array a different way. So I can say string friends, and I can just set this equal to new string, and then I wanna type these open and close square brackets. Inside of these square brackets, I need to tell Java how many elements I wanna put inside of this array. So for example, when we had that list of friends, we had three elements inside of it. So I'm just gonna put three over here. But let's say we wanted to have 10 elements, we could just say 10. And when you're working in Java, you have to be very specific with how many items you wanna store inside of your array. And we can use something like this to do that. So we're basically creating this string, we're telling it how many elements we wanna put in it, but we're not telling it what elements we wanna put in it just yet. And the way that we can do that, the way that we can populate this array is by doing something like this. So you see down here I have friends zero is equal to Mike. Well, what this is gonna do is it's gonna insert this element inside of the array. So now when I print out that first element, it's gonna give me Mike. If I try to print out the second element though, so if I put a one in here, you'll notice that we get the value of null. And that means that we haven't put a value inside of this array in position one yet. So why don't we go ahead and do that? I can say friends one, and we'll just set this equal to Karen. And actually we'll put one in for the last one too. So we'll say friends two is equal to Kevin. So now this array should be fully populated with all of these values. So I can actually access that first element in the array and I'm able to get the value. So that's the basics of working with arrays. Arrays are extremely useful. And you know if you plan on going forward with Java programming, you're definitely gonna use them. So I would recommend just playing around with arrays, giving them different values, you know, playing around with accessing the values, modifying the values, and really just get comfortable using them. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.